For breakfast, I have the three quarter cup to one cup of oatmeal. I have an apple and then I have some cinnamon sugar and then I have two eggs and I had a protein shake. But that's what I have. I'm gonna get some work done. I'm actually gonna go to Starbucks because uh, one of my buddies is in town and they wanted to meet up at Starbucks. I need to try to meet up with them more. So that's what I'm gonna do and then I'll go work out. Just waiting on those guys. I'm about to get some work done. Let's do this. There we go. So I'm at the gym. I'm about to mix up my pre-workout, which is the BPI, 1MR Vortex, and then I have these aminos, muscle martini, mixed berry candy. They taste nothing like mixed berry candy. They taste like medicine. So I'm gonna try to cut them with some of this watermelon regen BCAs, and hopefully that will help. And then, also eating a complete cookie. So, I'll probably eat half of it, maybe all of it, and then have to work out. Guys, it's been a while since I've done a voiceover, so that's what we're gonna do for this workout. I did start off with a little bit of cardio, only like five to 10 minutes of just walking at an incline into my workout. So I started the workout off with face pulls. Um, I do them seated with the rope, it's just a different angle. I did four sets of eight to 10 reps, and then I supersetted those with this rear delt exercise. Again, I don't know what it's called, but I did an additional four sets of 10 to 12 reps. And then I moved on to some dumbbell presses. I don't know why, but that first rep is always the toughest, at least I feel. I don't know what you guys think, but I did these dumbbell presses for four sets of seven to eight reps. A little bit heavier today. I've been trying to do that lately. Um, some heavy exercises. And then I did a super set with lighter weight. I did a super set of dumbbell front raises for 10 to 12 reps. And these will have your shoulders on fire because those heavy reps to the light reps it kills then i did some upright barbell rows i'm not sure if i've ever done those on this channel or showed you guys but i do them from time to time four sets of eight to ten reps and then i went into a seated shoulder press machine terrible angle but i went heavier again here five sets of seven to eight reps and towards the end of my workout i went into some standing cable lateral raises four sets of 10 to 15 reps and there were honestly quite a few supersets. I mean, you guys know me, I just like doing supersets. Just adds more volume to the workout in less time. So, you know, give them a try. Again, I really like them. Uh, then I supersetted these with some plate shrugs. You can go heavier if you want. I just used the 45 pound plates and I did four sets of 20 reps. And last workout, is something a little different. It's a front raise with the rope on the cable machine for sets of 10 to 12 reps. Time for the post-workout shake. I got my aminos here. It's gonna be five grams of creatine, uh, which is just this creatine monohydrate, and then a scoop of the whey. Maybe a scoop and a half, scoop and a half of the whey. Um, as I make this though, uh, I spent like an extra 30 minutes at the gym after my workout talking to uh, one of my but he's actually, I just met him probably a few weeks ago. You know, you see people at the gym, but you don't necessarily talk to them. Um, you know, I'd seen him around, but we hadn't actually uh, talked or met. But he's more of a bodybuilder though, so I could potentially bring him on. Um, I was talking to him about it, we were laughing. I was like, yeah, people want physique updates from me, but I don't always know how to pose and stuff like that, because I don't. Um, he was like, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely help you with that. He lives the bodybuilding lifestyle. I mean, that's all he does. He has, you know, pretty large Instagram, Twitter, um, he's actually thinking about getting to YouTube, which is why he wanted to talk to me. Uh, he was asking me the question, the golden question of, 
where do I start? And that's, you know, it's such a hard question to answer because there are so many places to start. It depends on where you're at, what you have, what connections, um, you know, are you gonna do the editing? But anyways, I was just trying to explain to him how kind of the process would go. And then he started telling me that like, you know, he knows Bradley Martin, he knows Amanda Bucci, he knows like a lot of these bigger fitness people. And I was like, damn. I talked to him, I was like, yeah man, you wanna do a collab? Because that would be sick to get on his channel, even though it would be, you know, less subs than obviously I have right now. And to an extent it would be different content, but then I could get him, you know, some of my subs, and he has that exposure with, you know, those larger um, YouTubers and, you know, social media peeps, like, you know, like I said, the Bradley Martin, the, there was other people, Amanda Bucci, there was more, but those are the two that like, I follow both of them, um, and I really like both of them and the content they put out. Oh man, Abucci, she's just, you know, gorgeous, obviously, and uh, Bradley Martin's just big as shit, so, and he's funny. I don't know, it's cool, it would be cool, so he's working, he's gonna work on his YouTube channel, I'll probably see him at the gym, we will talk more, it would be cool, I think, different content, I'm excited for it. So, that's why I was at the gym longer than I was expecting, but I have my post-workout shake now, I'm gonna get some work done, um, some comments, some emails, some meal plans, and work on a new video, and I'll bring you back when it's time to eat. Time for the post-workout meal. If you guys recall from the weekly grocery haul video, I didn't put them in their own individual containers all weighed out and everything. I just packaged them up into um, like the rice, the chicken, the broccoli. So I still have to like weigh them out or you know get my cup of rice, get my cup of broccoli. So. This is definitely another way that you can do it, but then when it comes time to eat, you have to weigh it out versus if you just do it all while you're prepping. Not a big deal either way, but it's just the way I did it this week because I'm doing the tutorials that if you're watching this video, you already saw them because that was the previous video. So, but let's get the food ready. It's gonna be eight ounces of chicken with a cup of rice and a cup of broccoli. And I'm gonna heat it up on the stove to add some extra flavor. I'll probably crack an egg in there. I think I'll do that. Wait, no, I had eggs this morning, so I don't want more eggs. I'll just heat it up on the stove. Now that's all nice and moist. Moist, I don't like that word. It's a weird word. It's a weird word to use but it's moist. So, got that. And then I'm gonna add the broccoli. That on. And I'm gonna weigh out eight ounces of the chicken. Money. Get some flip action going on. That never crossed your mind. I understand. There's my post workout meal. I'm gonna eat, and then I still have more work to do, and I'm gonna eat several more times. Since I'm on this, and I've said it so many times, but I'm on this adjusted sleep schedule. This is really only like, what, my third meal? Third or fourth, if you count like the shakes and stuff. Meals, so I still have quite a few more to go. And it's like, what, 6.30 right now? So yeah, there's a lot more eating to come. Time to eat again, so I'm gonna have a smoothie, but I'm not gonna add the protein powder to it. I'm watching some It's Always Sunny while I do that. I also gotta unload the dishwasher. And then yeah, do more meal plans, do more emails, comments all of those things, but I'll show you the smoothie. It's time to eat again. I'm gonna eat about a half a cup of rice, around seven ounces of the ground turkey, ground beef mix. Let me show it to you.
Now I didn't plan on adding the cheese, but it just sounded like a good idea and I was kind of craving it. So I don't know. To me, I thought that's like a poor man's hamburger helper, but substitute the pasta for rice. And I don't know if there's broccoli in it. And I don't know. That's what I'm gonna call it. That's the poor man's hamburger helper. So I'm gonna eat this and then there's still another meal. Like a bedtime snack or some ice cream because I have some more Halo Top ice cream. I might try some of that. I don't know. Lighting is terrible in my room at night. Like it's all yellow. So I have to like edit out the, the tints or something like that, like post-production. I gotta fix the colors. I need to work on that because it's annoying. But I am extremely tired. Well, not extremely tired. I'm tired, but I'm still kind of hungry. So I'm gonna have this Halo Top strawberry ice cream. Never had it. it hasn't been opened yet. I don't know what it tastes like. I don't know why I smell food before I eat it. I always do it. That's pretty good. If you like strawberry ice cream, you'll like this. Slightly weird aftertaste, maybe. Still really good. That was pretty good ice cream. I ate like half of it, so there you go. You can see the total calories for the day right here. But like I said, I'm pretty tired. It's like one ish, 12:31 ish. So I'm gonna get ready to go to bed, wake up early, start the day. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Feedback is always helpful. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.